What's going on YouTube, Uberman here. So every year I do a review in general of my experience with the Uber platform. This year makes year number three. Um, honestly, I started at the end of October in 2013 and here we are three years later. And when I started, rates were somewhere around $2.50 a mile and I think the per minute rate was something like 50 cents a minute, something like that. Today we are at a 75 cent base fare, 70 cents per mile, and 11 cents per minute. So as you can expect, my review is not good. Um, rates continue to drop, and I fear that we're gonna see them drop again for the winter warm-up guarantees, as has happened every single year with Uber. Now with that being said, is there still money to be made? There's a lot of people that say, oh, you are driving and operating at a loss because blah, 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 the IRS standard deductions, 54 cents per month, blah, depreciation, blah, 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 blah. Look, screw all that, throw that out the window, okay? Trash it because you're full of crap, okay? What most people don't seem to understand is that it does not cost the majority of rideshare drivers the IRS standard deduction to actually drive their vehicle for hire. A lot of cars operate well under the 54 cent per mile tax deduction that the IRS gives you. So with that being said, can you still make money driving for Uber at 70 cents a mile? Yes. With that being said, you have to be smarter about it. Okay. If Uber offers guarantees and they are actually attainable, you should see about doing it. at least opt in and see if you can make those guarantees. Also big events, weekends, bar closings, uh, morning rush. Anytime there's a possibility of surge, watch your market, watch the Rider app, keep an eye on your market and start to get an idea of the pattern that your city has for surge pricing if your market has surge pricing at all. If you do, follow that pattern and learn to be online just before a surge hits and that way you're not working for 70 cents a mile. That is what I do. I typically drive when rates are no less than $2.10 a mile and 33 cents a minute, which means I refuse to drive when rates are below a three times surge multiplier. Let me turn this down. Now, in my market, luckily, on the regular, we will see four, five, six times, and I think a few weeks, maybe a month ago, we hit over eight times surge pricing. Surge is a normal thing out here, and you can drive it and make decent money. So, three years later, it's tough, guys, and it seems to be getting tougher and tougher, and unfortunately, I feel like it's going to be even harder in the future. And a lot of drivers, especially new drivers, just don't have the patience for this. And that is why Uber has such a high turnover rate. Drivers come on, they realize it's not easy to make money out here. This actually takes work, it takes thought, you have to plan for it, and a lot of times they just quit. Now, you can always, if your market offers referral bonuses, sign up for Uber. In fact, I have a link, first link in the description. Sign up for Uber take your minimum trips, collect your referral bonus, and quit. Take your money and run. You also get paid whatever you made while driving for Uber. Take those trips, take your referral money, take the money from the trips, and then quit. And somebody else will come back and do it again. So, if nothing else, if your market offers referral bonuses, you can at least make a nice little chunk of change and then walk away if you feel like it's not for you. But for me, I'll continue doing what I do. I will drive search pricing, and we will see what happens on year number four. Hmm. That's scary thought, guys. Four years next year with Uber. That's, uh, we'll see. I'm nervous because I don't know where this is gonna go. Maybe another rideshare company is gonna pop up and take over the world. It's unpredictable. And that's part of what is exciting about being here and being involved with this new rideshare industry. Truthfully, I still love what I do. I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. But most of all, I enjoy making videos for YouTube and replying to you guys' comments. This is truly what I love a lot more than driving now. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Be safe out there and Uber on.